The philosophy at the hotel is very simple. It's everybody's welcome. Amsterdam is a very diverse city, very international, so that already helps. And the parent company is all over the world, so we have literally guests from everywhere. Everybody is welcome in Huis Ramholen. It's already in our profile. If you read carefully and look carefully, you can see and read that it's run by a gay couple and that other people from the community should feel more at ease because they know, these people know how, how we will act, think and feel. Freedom is really the most important values for us. So we want that to be also true for whoever walks in here. So we really uh, make sure that everybody's welcome, whatever your background, whatever uh, you, whoever you are. And uh, I don't know, we try to think that inclusivity is not about uh, like one size fits all, but about uh, like really seeing individual needs. So we always keep an open eye for that. My initial response to the Travel Proud program was uh, actually, uh, it said that this is necessary. So like LGBTQ plus uh, community members don't feel like they're welcome. Really, is this a, still a thing? We have quite a few LGBTQ plus community um, members uh, in our staff. It was nice to uh, get the conversation going uh, between uh, uh, them and the rest of the staff. Like uh, maybe some things that uh, were in the training were a bit surprising for people that are not part of the community and um, yeah and I think that the response there has been really nice because it created a sort of dialogue. It's very good to educate people who work in accommodations all over the world about the LGBT plus community and how to approach and how to make them feel welcome in their accommodation. Oh when I heard about Travel Proud I said we have to get this as soon as possible because it's a global thing it's recognized there's actually substance behind it. The instruments with the, the training program and the manuals, it gives you straight away the opportunity to also educate the staff in the sense that it actually gave substance to things they might have heard or not heard or have wondered about and because it's sort of all detailed uh, with examples it sort of opens up the mind. It was a lot of information in the training and I think that overall the most important learning point was how can we make that more explicit? How can we make sure that uh, our guests, our travelers know that they're welcome here, that they don't even, the doubt doesn't even cross their mind and I thought okay maybe I should do a content uh, audit for our social media for our uh, marketing material, for our website, or for example, even uh, the fact that, okay, we, do, we have uh, separate bathrooms for men and for women, and that's just the architecture of the place. We cannot change it right now. Uh, but I found out that there are other things that we can do to sort of make that more explicit, that you're welcome to choose whatever bathroom you feel like. I would like to convince them to take part to make sure that all their staff and their, their personnel knows the difference between knowing and doing. I think this, that this program can be enriching for any property. Starting from a good intention isn't always enough. So, like, uh, I was reading about all the, the part, the chapter about unconscious bias and it got me thinking about myself. Sometimes you, you don't want to, to be disrespectful or to not make somebody feel welcome, but you have to make sure that as far as you can, you, you know how to make that people welcome. You cannot ignore that. To anybody who's not in the program, or hasn't done the training, I would strongly advise them to do it. Because even although, like I said, we have our own programs as well, it's very important to have something that's universal. And with booking, you actually have a company that's truly global. So why not get the best practices from them? So that sort of it filters like a blanket all over the world rather than bit here, bit there, different interpretations. I think it would be very smart. And uh, uh, to me, it's really that it should almost go that far that at one point it shouldn't be necessary anymore because it's standard. You know, it's part of general life. And I think that is by starting this, if it evolves, then hopefully we'll reach to that point.